Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today, from the chafing dish of 1912, we're going to be making the onion sandwich. Fun fact, 1912, uh, just about five years after mayonnaise was first sold in jars in the United States. First thing it says to do is thinly slice a Bermuda or Spanish onion, which is interesting because Bermudas are sweet, Spanish are not. I'm going sweet. Now we're to soak it in salt water for 30 minutes. Yep. Okay, now we're to uh, drain them and put them onto ice until ready. While our onions are chilling on ice, we need to take some mayonnaise and add lemon juice. Does it say how much? It does not. Now we're to dip our onions in the mayonnaise and place onto buttered bread. Okay, let's give this onion sandwich a go. It's not bad. You got tangy mayonnaise from the lemon juice. A little bit of sweet onion, just playing off of that. Yes, there's butter, so it's a little rich, uh, along with the mayonnaise, but it's not a bad little snacky sandwich. I do want to plus it up, and I think I'm going to try two different things. So on one, I'm going to put black pepper. On the other, I'm going to put on some of these Lay's Masala Flavored Potato Chips that I reviewed over on In the Chips with Berry. Uh, they're pretty good, a little bit spicy, complex, warm flavor. I mean, they're thin, but what are you going to do? They're Lay's. All right, let's give this onion sandwich plus up with black pepper. I'll go. It's actually providing a nice contrast, going really well with the lemon. And counteracting a little bit of the fat, with a little bite. It was good. Okay, let's give this onion sandwich plussed up with the uh, Lay's Masala flavored potato chips. Ooh. Mmm. Mm-hmm. So the potato chips are bringing the warm spices, a little bit of black salt, and a little bit of heat. And it's going really well with the lemon, really well with the onions. So the original onion sandwich, clearly it is meant to be like a tea sandwich. It probably even should have gone on thinner bread, but it was tasty. Nice tangy uh, lemon infused uh, mayonnaise, sweet onion. And I can see how it would work with the uh, regular onion too. After sitting in a salt bath for 30 minutes, it would have really taken the sting out of that. Um, it was tasty. As a tea sandwich, I would say that's like a solid seven and a half. That was really good. Plus up with the black pepper, probably about an eight. Nice little contrast, little interesting bump. Um, but plus up with the Lay's Masala chips as a tea sandwich, that is a spicy, tasty, flavorful number. I'm gonna give that a nine. I am definitely gonna finish that with the Lay's potato chips. I did think about putting like chives or herbs in there, but I wanted to try the potato chips because you know, chips. <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow. Welcome to Sandwiches of History. All right. Um,